Hi there, my name is Dave Schwartz. I'm the author of Roll the Bones, the History of Gambling, Casino Edition, which is the new edition of a book that I wrote that originally was published in 2006 by Gotham Books. Uh, got some pretty good reviews. And it is about the history of gambling with a focus in casinos, as you might have guessed from the title. Pretty much, I very briefly trace the rise of gambling about 10,000 years ago or so, and then fast forward to the first casino, which was in Venice in 1638, and from then on, it's going through everything from the European spa resorts in the 17th and 18th century, the rise of Monte Carlo in the 19th century, and then the rise of Reno and then Las Vegas in Nevada in the 20th century, casinos in Atlantic City, riverboats, Native American casinos, pretty much casinos all around the U.S. and the world. And in the last few chapters, I talk about Asia and the rise of online gaming and try to put it all in the context. So that's what the book is about. Now, you might be wondering what the casino edition is. If you have the original first edition, you might say, well, I, do I need this one? Well, I've added a lot of material and taken some out. Uh, most people tended to really like the casino stuff and not like the lottery and horse racing stuff so much in the book, so I've really pared that back and focused on casinos. And I've added a lot of material. Uh, got, got a lot of questions about the role of the mob in the rise of Vegas Casino, so I added a lot of material about that, the rise and fall of the mob, so I think people will find that interesting. Also added a lot more material about Las Vegas and the casinos there and how they grew, especially in the 50s and 60s, and have a new chapter about Atlantic City, going into much greater depth about what happened in Atlantic City, and about Las Vegas in the 80s, which is kind of a lost period for a lot of gambling history people. Everybody talks about the mob era, everybody talks about the corporate era. A lot of people don't talk about the transition period in the 80s, which I think is makes it really interesting. So there's all that in there. Um, now, why did I come out with this edition? Well, a couple of months ago, the original publisher let the rights revert to me, the author, and with the encouragement of my agent, I decided to roll the bones, roll the dice, as you might say, and gambled on the book myself, and put a little bit of my own money, honestly, into it, and self-publish it. You know, I think it's a good book. I think that it deserves to be out there. And when I decided to self-publish it, I said, well, I'm going to make this the book, combination of the book that I want to make and a book that people want to read. So it's got a lot of really interesting stuff, as I said, about the casinos. And it's also really true to my vision of what you should talk about when you're talking about the history of casinos. So it's got a combination of both. Now, um, why should you buy it? Well, if you're interested in casinos or gambling, I think it's a pretty good sell. If you just you know, don't like to gamble yourself to find it interesting or have an academic interest in casinos, you might like it. You know, also, I would really appreciate the support for an independent author. You know, that, that would really help me out. And if you have any questions, you can talk to me on Twitter. I'm at UNLV Gaming. love to get questions from people about the book or about anything, about my day job at the Center for Gaming Research at UNLV. You can also talk to me right here, interact with me right here on Tumblr. Thank you very much for watching this and read some of the reviews and uh, read the prologue, which I have available on the site. Thank you very much.